certainly a good thing. Oh, come on. I really need a new mouse. Like, one that would actually read every time I move the scroll wheel. Ha! Huh. Morons. Uh, dynamic lighting. Now I tell you what, steam tunnel access, that doesn't, steam tunnel, that doesn't seem like, that doesn't seem like a place where I want to go. Whoa! Especially not with an explosive goddamn ladder like that. I tell you what, Black Mesa, it's a wonder they were ever in business at all. Whoa. <laughs> Makes sense. Steam pipes are so hot you'd take damage just from touching them. Yeah, that's definitely a pretty awesome attention to detail there. What isn't quite as awesome, however, is the, the way they gave me the revolver and have yet to give me anything to shoot it at. I don't want to waste revolver ammo on these. Conveniently, just enough space between the uh, steam to find the valve. Get out of your steam. Oh dear. Okay, so this is going to be about timing, is it? Or did it just delay the shutoff time? All right, misjudging things once again. However, this shit is definitely toxic. I can practically guarantee it. But it doesn't look like there's any way around it. Wrong once again, it's not toxic. Somehow. Though also, it really probably should be damaged. Should be damaging all over the place because of that electricity. First laptop once again making zero sense because I should not be getting frame drops here at all. Oh well, hopefully it's not too bad. It doesn't completely ruin the experience. I mean, it's not gonna be like DX Toy in Opposing Force, just dropping frames everywhere. <laughs> and of course, myself in my infinite wisdom continues to use the single fire mode on the shotgun on these bull squids despite going on that whole spiel a little while ago about it being useless for anything more tough than a pet crab. And a barrel, of course. What a shame, nothing in the box. What's this ladder doing here? Am I to assume the uh, elevator breaks at some point? If not, I'm not really... I'm... I mean, as far as gameplay goes, I'm not seeing the purpose behind it. As far as detail goes, it's perfect. It's not perfect, you know, it makes sense. You have a backup for... In case the lift breaks. Not sure how the head grab survived the first shot. Guessing this is toxic. Or, once again, being proven wrong. It's just really slippery. Oil, perhaps? Kinda looks like the oil in that one part of Cry of Fear. Oh! You know, for a second there, I thought I was... Wow, that was real bad timing on my part. I thought it was too early on shooting that barrel. Fortunately, I was proven wrong. Still don't want to use the revolver just yet, mainly because the enemies here aren't very uh, worthy of its power. 
though. That might have been a bur yeah, good, well, not good, uh, situation to use it in. Yes, keep on running. Oh, cheeky bastard. Just waiting for me to look at you. Isn't like my box genocide. Kind of think about it. I think it only takes. It's only supposed to take two shots from the pistol to take down a head crab. Yep, so I've just kind of wasted a bunch of ammo. Oh well. I'm guessing head back to where I saw the electricity, and this was just a side path to give me a little bit of uh, health. Hmm. Guess I got lucky there with the timing. I thought I messed it up for sure. Conveniently enough. Whoa! I don't appreciate being frozen in place for a place. God. Good God, what am I. Hmm, I don't think Vortigaunts like uh, cockroaches. I've also completely lost my train of thought as to you know the thing I was trying to say before that. Oh well. So what the hell is the deal with all this? All this crap just piled up here. Hmm. These are movable boxes, yes. Simple enough. It's just, it's just that I, last time I remember seeing these boxes, it was. I really don't like the movements of items like this. Well, I didn't need to anyway. But yeah, last time I saw boxes like that. You know, they weren't movable. <sighs> Not unsurprising, to be honest. Head crab being in a dark corner in the... Shoot, doing it twice! But it's scarier than half the shit in Cry of Fear, so... <laughs> There's that. I re still remember the first time I ran into, ran into this situation in uh, the original Half-Life. <laughs> Scary as shit then. Not really, uh, you know, yell into microphones level, but certainly uh, jump in your seat level. How do you like that? The ladder actually works. Out of the way, barrel. I said move. High temperature steam pipes. Oh, you son of a bitch. Wow, that was terrible. Okay, that... Death was not unexpected. Also, 
also losing a bullet for some reason. Okay, let's make sure not to try to run up and shotgun him again. Shotgun him again. <laughs> Auto weapon swap. I hate it. It's terrible. God damn it. I'd probably have 30 more health right now if you didn't swap me to this weapon. I had the shot perfectly lined up with this thing and everything. But nope. Picked up a weapon you didn't have. Wow, those sh soldiers were smart. I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. If you were trying to reach the freight yards and hope of escaping, then just forget about it. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me. If you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <laughs> if you can get past the soldiers, Find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place. Hmm, they actually used a different voice actor for that guy. Though I think he was... I think that was the voice actor that does the, the uh, fat security guards. S. Reardon apparently has two offices, or they've got two S. Reardons in the Black Mesa staff. I suppose had two would be more accurate. Get out of your condition zero spawn. Well, I got what I wanted. A bit more challenge. Just a shame that a lot of it can comes from auto weapon swap and other such ridiculous things. We've got full armor now, so. At least I shouldn't t take a whole lot of health damage for the time being. I still can't believe that, you know, first time I went through that area, that guy literally ducked under the shotgun shell. I mean, what luck. Again, what am I saying? I'm the one playing, so... <laughs> Should be a surprise to nobody that I get such luck. gigantic battlefield map, you get a car falling directly on your head. You can't really surpri be surprised when you have terrible luck. Oh god, I wasn't expecting them up there. I'm guessing he was calling for reinforcements or something there. Yeah, honestly, when I heard them, I thought they were on the other side of that door in the uh, storage room. Not two floors above me. Man. Loads of health in this room. Much appreciated. They got a lot of boxes of various metal junk in this area. What a shame. Oh dear. Bit of a problem. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Oh god, that is a lot of them. Get out of the way, goddamn barrel! Stupid fucking thing. Yeah, that was... I should have stuck with the revolver there. Okay, well, I know there's nothing here. Also, get this fucking barrel out of my way. Go, 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 go. Out of here. 
I do have grenades, though, so I should probably use them. Mm-hmm. Yep, just kind of bounce back and blow up my hand. Blow up in my hand. Thank you. That's like one time. there. That was like a lot of force. Yeah. And I think this is the number of people who just it. That was a chance. I'm sure that was a chance. Oh, it's not a bitch. It's not here. It's not here. I'm touching it. He was dead! He was dead! How did he shoot that out of his barrel if he died? His experience was definitely getting pretty tough right now, but at the same time, he's been more than a little nonsense. I don't know if he's stupid, physics objects, not really physics objects. Die, you son of a bitch! You gonna stop shooting this time? This is a little silly. Nice and slow. Any moves? I think I finally got it. <laughs> About damn time. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, well. Curiously enough, not nearly as frustrating as Condition Zero was. No, that was certainly a lot of bullshit. Jump on the tire, goddammit Calhoun. Secure, sir. I am a robot. Oh, conveniently a uh, loading screen. Keep it ticking nice and slow. Oh, the security locker's locked. Well, shotgun ammo, I don't think that's going to be very useful in this area. I'd really love to know what the deal with the frame rate in this area, in this game is. There's nothing about it that should be slowing it down. Thankfully, he was a moron. As was he. I was just so terrible I couldn't live my life, live my live with myself.
Ooh, shit. Well, he was a smart one. That's what I'd like to see. Oop. Took a little damage. Would have preferred to have uh, been able to pull off that shot without taking any, but I'm just not that good. You know what? I really have to wonder for these soldier voices if they were... Oh my god. Why? Well, that's a potentially useful thing completely wasted because of the goddamn auto-select. If there's anything I can... I have to just whine and cry and bitch and moan and etc. about as far as the Half-Life engine goes... Someone let us out of here. It's gotta be that auto-select newly picked up weapon thing. I mean, the flashlight sucks, but I can deal with it. The sliding around movement sucks, but I can deal with it. But the auto-select weapon is just... Oh, God, you're here. No, I'm afraid I'm not Dr. Rosenberg. What a shame. I suppose a security guard should know what he's doing. Let's go. Hmm, too bad your buddy's dead. This is as far as I go. Ah, oh, help! Let us out of here! Oh wait, I won't follow you out of here. Oh dear god. Oh. How did I manage to miss? Ah, you thought you'd get the drop on me, did you? Well, I'm afraid not. Hmm. Interesting species, I have to say. Fully alive and capable of doing everything the moment they're broken out of ice. Something that ought to be sh uh, studied. I'm just constantly being surprised in this one. <laughs> 